Far Cry 6 introduces a new type of legendary animal called mythical animals, and they are spread out across the gigantic map that Far Cry 6 offers, so whether you want them for the primal outfit here, or just want to hunt all of the mythical animals, I'm going to show you all 5 locations and some tips to help you along the way, so don't forget to subscribe for more Far Cry 6 videos. Honestly, these mythical animals are probably the most difficult ones I've seen in a Far Cry game. There are ways to kind of cheat for sure which I'll show, but for the most part they can be pretty tough. So make sure if you have any additional tips to leave them down in the comments below. By the way, you can get all five of these guys right after the long intro part of Far Cry 6 is done, when you leave that first island. Once that's done, you can just fly around to all of the different locations. The first mythical animal you can find is called Mamutito, which is a legendary hog and it can actually be found at the starting island of the game at the northernmost part of it in Vencejo. You'll know that you're there when you see this big pit which has some of the other hogs roaming around. He could be in the cave down towards the bottom, or he could be roaming around anywhere in the area. Mine was walking around actually at the top of the pit, not even really in it before he finally started charging at me. Mamutito is probably the easiest mythical animal you can come across as I just used a bow and I can't really say how powerful he is because he didn't really even hit me somehow. The skinning animations are gone if you haven't noticed yet so all you have to do is walk over it. Next we're going to go over and get two mythical animals which are the demon dogs or the black and white demonicas which are these really cool black and white wolves or coyotes I guess because the other ones in the area are coyotes. I guess that makes more sense than wolves. But anyways, this is where things start to get much more difficult. They're going to be found over in Aguas Lindas, at the same exact location as one another in a cave-like pit area. Since we don't care what we kill these guys with, I'm just going to lob some dynamite over there. You're probably going to feel bad because these coyotes are just looking really cool. I wish I could get one of these as a companion, but if you take it easy on them, especially at a lower level, you're going to get wrecked. They have these screeching sound wave things that they do when they howl. Plus, they're just really strong because they also got a bunch of other coyotes attacking you at the same time. So if you can, try to take some of those other coyotes out first. Just don't take it easy on them, even though they're awesome looking. Just throw whatever you can at them and make sure to finish them off. Because they'll actually revive and that just makes it even more sad when you have to walk over and give them a devil tap. The third location which contains the fourth mythical animal is the powerful albino crocodile Venodiente. Who again, like the other mythical animals, has a special little area with a bunch of other crocodiles lingering around, and this mythical croc is probably the strongest and most overpowered one of them all. I wasn't that deep into the game at this point, so I'm sure that plays a little part of it, but whenever I walked in the poison cloud that pours out of him, I was instantly dead, and the other time he grabbed me and just like twisted my leg off, and I was gone after that. So I just said screw it, grabbed a helicopter thingy that little hovercraft that I flew in, and I shot him with a turret. But even after basically cheating to kill him, I got off the hovercopter and completely forgot about the gas and instantly died before I could pick up the skin. But luckily when I respawned, I had it in my inventory. The crocodile is really cool, but also kind of annoying, which I guess makes him even cooler. And then lastly is the mythical jaguar, Sanguinario, who is the only one I know of that has a special requirement in order to spawn, because he will only spawn at nighttime to lurk around this little beach town here at the bottom of Sierra Perdida, and you just have to hang out around the town until the gang of jaguars show up. Once they do, you'll realize that the mythical jaguar is really built different. Especially when you look at him next to the other regular jaguars, he's huge. I don't know what they're smuggling in at this little beach town, but this guy has been juicing. He towers over the other jaguars, and I don't know what it was, but he was like the easiest fight out of all of them. It was just really annoying having to chase him around, because once he got a little damage, he kept running away, and he's fast as hell. So you just gotta go look around every little crevice in the direction that he went in, and you'll probably find him just standing around somewhere. It's just really hard because this dude is like the Flash, he just disappears. But now that you've taken him down, you can head over to your home base, preferably one that you've built a hunter's lodge on, and you can now create all of the pieces needed for the primal outfit. It mostly just gives some hunting buffs, I don't really care for this outfit much at all, honestly. I just enjoyed hunting and finding all of the mythical animals. But that's pretty much it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Far Cry 6 videos. See ya.